last honor that we have to present is the H.J. Brunier Lifetime Achievement Award for Outstanding Achievement in Structural Engineering. Uh, this previously used to be awarded uh, to the designer of a specific project in 2003. The Board of Directors changed this from a design award to a Lifetime Achievement Award in recognition of the fact that design is for suckers. <laughs> Okay, here to introduce this year's winner is honorary member Ed Wilson. I'm very pleased to be here tonight to uh, introduce the obvious, uh, ASHRAE. I will not beat around the bush, as you can see, uh, half of this office has followed him over here. Uh, I think it's to make sure that he behaves himself. I first met Ashraf as a student at Cal almost 40 years ago, and I've worked with him uh, almost continuously since. He was under 30 years old, but he had the nerve to start his own firm and call it Computers and Structures International. And he also had the nerve to start in teaching other engineers how to do dynamic analysis. So the, through the University of California Extension, he started teaching courses that were extremely popular. They were the, he was at the right place at the right time, and uh, he emphasized computer-aided design not the analysis part, but how structures behave. And also at that time, he had the vision and desire to want to teach not every engineer in the Bay Area, but every engineer in the world. And uh, as a result of that, uh, sort of the uh, bottom of his stationery now is to develop technology for a better world. CSI software is used more in more than 150 countries. And I think Ashraf has visited almost all of them and, and, uh, and lectured and received honorary doctor's degrees at major universities. And it has definitely become a worldwide uh, figure. He has many passions other than structural analysis. He loves photography, dance. He founded the Diablo Ballet. He makes movies. He exercises every day. I wish I had that uh, motivation. But it's been a privilege and a lot of fun to work with you, Ashraf, for the last 40 years. And. Uh, I would uh, looking forward to continue to associate with you and to attend your parties. <laughs> and uh, uh, he can throw a party in case uh, I think several of you have, have attended them, and uh, uh, that's one of his expertise also. <laughs> but you will always remain a, a visionary engineer and my good friend, Ashraf, congratulations. I had my doubts whether I really deserved this honor, but you kind of have convinced me of it. <laughs> my doubts and insecurities tend to be fading at this moment. It's easy for me to get out on the streets and impress just the general public as to what we do. But to be honored this way by your peers and the people that actually have used your work, that is a true honor for which I am very, very grateful and I thank you so very much. I get a lot of credit for the things CSI does. But of course, I know it's true that I started the company 35 years ago. 
And I also know the stupidity that went into starting it. You have to actually be a little stupid to do something like that in a time when software was developed at universities and given away by professors for free. And you thought that you were going to go sell something. But to have it survive 35 years, that takes genius. And the genius is not embodied in me personally. The genius is all of you out there that have contributed the technology that is reflected in the software that we produce. So from that standpoint, this award is actually more yours than it is mine. I stand here and look at all of these past presidents, and it reminds me of the very first time I actually went out there to teach a course. And I had never taught anything before that, but I do remember that all summer long, I studied for it. And come Wednesday night, I think it was September 7th in 1974, a week before that, I called my class coordinator. I say, Nanette, how many people do I have? She said, well, you have 187 registered. We usually get about 25, so what we've done is moved you into the main auditorium. And I'm like, fine, no big deal. I had never taught anything. I had no concept how many people 187 people are. So on this Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, I enter the class, and there's a sea of people. And there's one thing I remember about that day, and it's not that my legs had become rubber, and that I cleaned the board. You know, they used chalk in those days. I cleaned it for five minutes. I couldn't even turn around. Talk about fear. The board was already clean before I started to clean it. And then I turn around, and I see eight either ex-presidents, former presidents, or future presidents of the Structural Engineers Association lined up in the front row. There was Pete Keller, Frank McClure, Dave Messenger, all in the front row. And here I'm wondering, are these people here to actually learn something from me? Or, okay, you young whippersnapper, you advertise this course, let's see how well you can dance. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make that way in the beginning, it was this association that got me started. This is where everything started. And I want you to know as to how much I appreciate, not this award, but the fact that you were there to launch, which I call this incredible association, Computers and Structures and the Structural Engineering Profession. It's your honor, your friendship, and just the fact that even when we were seven years late in releasing our Windows version, because we were Fortran programmers, we nothing, knew nothing about Windows, you guys waited. Waited for our stuff. So for that, I'm so very thankful. And in the end, I do want to recognize the incredible people at Computers and Structures, because without them, there would be no CSI. And actually, there would be no me. Thank you very much. Thank you to the board. And thank you.